Let's start at codespark.com. Click on Explore, then Educator Resources. Click on Teacher Start here, fill out the registration form, and click Sign Up. If you use Clever, you can also log in here, but we'll cover this process in a different video. Now that you're logged in, let's set up our first classroom. Go to Classrooms, then click on Add Classroom. Fill in the requested information. When you add an additional teacher, they'll have full access to this class. This is perfect for co-teaching or aids. When entering your students' names, only enter their first name and last initial. You can also import a list or a CSV file if you have one from your roster. I also suggest adding a student account for yourself. You'll probably want to walk through the puzzles and create example games and animated stories to help your students understand the projects you're working on. Parent emails are optional, but if you add it, we'll be able to send parents a special welcome letter. Speaking of parents, please encourage them to check out CodeSpark Academy. Our program is free for teachers thanks to parents who pay for home use. Please help us continue to offer CodeSpark for free to teachers by endorsing our program to parents. Click on Create at the bottom of the screen to complete your first classroom. This next screen offers instructions for setting up student devices. We'll go through those steps together now. Let's go back to our classroom, which by the way, you can access in the future by clicking Classrooms. Then select your classroom, click on Connect Devices here at the top of the screen. When you click Generate Code, you'll see a short code pop up on the screen. This code is what students will use to log into your classroom. Unless your devices get cleared, your students should only have to log in like this once. After that, your classroom will be remembered on the device and your students will be able to seamlessly access their accounts. Your device code is only good for two hours and regenerates to a new code after it expires. This time limit prevents kids from logging into your class at home. Let's walk through what students will have to do to log into your classroom. Here we are on a student device. First, they'll tap on schools, then students. If you're using Clever, they'll log in with Clever, but again, we'll cover that in another tutorial. They'll tap on use classroom code and enter the five letter code you just generated in your dashboard. I recommend you display this code on a whiteboard or through your projector. After entering the code, they are now able to access the profile you created for them in your class. They'll tap on the green play button and select their name from the class list. Students do not require an individual password to access their accounts. You're welcome, kindergarten teachers. The first time they log in, students will get to choose an avatar and a nickname. After that, they're in and ready to learn. If you still have questions about how to set up your teacher account and log students in, feel free to reach out to us at support at codespark.com.